Okay, so this is day one, Bio 210 Lab. Um, so just got your mink. First thing you're gonna do, cut the tail off, remove a lot of the fat, and then we're gonna start looking at some of the superficial muscles of the back. Um, first muscles we're gonna look at are the trapezius muscles. Unlike human, it has one trapezius, mink have three. Same thing in cat. First trapezius muscle we're gonna look at as you're working up is the spinotrapezius. This is it right here. I kind of lifted it. I also cut through the belly of it. And so right here, that is spinotrapezius. The next is this muscle right here. That's the acromiotrapezius. I cut through the belly of it as well. Um, the next runs right along here on down to the shoulder, that's the clavotrapezius. So we have spino, acromio, clavotrapezius. Now, you're gonna wanna work away. There's gonna be a lot of fat in here. And what I did, I kinda came along with my scissors, lifted so I could pull back the spinotrapezius. And I lifted, came out right about here so I could lift the acromiotrapezius. Here's the other side of that acromiotrapezius. Now, right at the kind of inferior portion of the acromiotrapezius is this muscle, this little strap. It's kind of a landmark. On the undissected mink, it's going to be really tight with this clavotrapezius. That is the levator scapulae ventralis. And what I did is kind of came in like this, lifted, kind of pulled away that clavotrapezius so that I could you now clean it up a little bit more. Okay, so again, acromiotrapezius, spinotrapezius, clavotrapezius, levator scapulae ventralis. Working our way on down, come right about here, you can see there's our levator scapulae. From at about this point, what is the trapezius becomes the deltoid. So this is the clavotrapezius, this is the clavodeltoid. Next, kind of cleaned out some fat around in here, this little triangular muscle. If we push down, kind of pull forward all of this. That's the acromiodeltoid, so we have clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid. And this little teeny guy right here is the spinodeltoid. So we have spinotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, clavio, clavotrapezius, clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, spinodeltoid, levator scapulae ventralis. Now these muscles right here, part of the arm, we'll look at those for exam too, but this is the epitrochlearis um, and part of the triceps right there. Okay, now we've gone through, you're gonna wanna lift these trapezius muscles and below that there are a few others that we can then begin to see for day one. The first is this, all of this is the latissimus dorsi. And latissimus dorsi, I kind of lifted it, pulled it back. So there's part of the, all the latissimus dorsi lift, lifted. And attached right along the top here, you have the rhomboideus muscles. So this is the rhomboideus major. It runs right down to the edge of the scapula. Here's the top of your scapula. Right here we have the rhomboideus minor. And there's a pretty nice little line right here. That's rhomboideus minor. This is the rhomboideus capitis. What you want to do is kind of pull the elbow down and then cut through the rhomboideus major and the rhomboideus minor. Leave the rhomboideus capitis in place. And as we pull down, you can then begin to see this big muscle right in here. That is the serratus ventralis. So we have serratus ventralis. And I want you to be able to identify that from this view as well as this view, kind of lift the arm. So all of this is serratus ventralis as well. Okay, so we have serratus ventralis, rhomboideus major, rhomboideus minor, rhomboideus capitis, latissimus dorsi, spinotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, Levator scapulae ventralis, clavotrapezius, clavodeltoid, again, acromiotrapezius, acromiodeltoid, spinotrapezius, 
spinodeltoid epitrochoideris. That's it for day one.